Hi, it's Mark. I have made a major piece of progress today. I finished my macros for MC4D so that every move in my ROIL0 move set, including uh, sub puzzle moves and the tricky um, moves like um, I sub Y, I Y have one-click macros on MC40. It's pretty sweet. And by way of demoing that, I wanted to show you my algorithm for the um, mono twist of a single corner. This is the RUFI corner that's twisted by X to 180 degrees on the X axis. I'll, um, I'll go ahead and click the macro on um, MC4D eighty-eight twists and um, there's that position on MC4D with um, you'll note the uh, um, on the up face on the in front right there's a green so on the up face on the in front right, there's green, etc. Here's the um, the algorithm to solve it, executed on the physical cube. Um, I need to uh, perform a pair of corner twists in this orientation, which I do by a, a soon and an anti soon at different angles. Now I need to perform an I Y prime move. Now another pair of soons uh, and anti soons at different angles. R Y on the right cube R U R prime U R U two R prime soon. R Y two anti soon R Y to line back up I Y move and we've solved our double corner twist. Now I'll demonstrate how to follow along on this identical um, algorithm using um, MC4D. First, I'm going to go into macro definition mode with the three with the handles that I've used for all of these macros, and then I won't have to enter them all again. Up at the top, I put a mnemonic of what those handles are on the in front of right. Um, sub cube. I need to uh, click on the in sticker, the front, the up, and the right sub faces of that sticker. That's my, um, those are my handles. Now I can just click macros corresponding to um, this, uh, this recipe. First I'm going to do a soon on the right hand sub cube and I'll do this one manually. I want to do an R on the right sub cube. U R prime U R U2. I'll just click the, the U twice. R prime. Now these sub cube moves they actually use um, this nearest face as a buffer. Um, but the soon and the anti soon end up with zero net twists. So we don't even have to, to bother with the, um, with the parity issue when we're doing, um, doing this on the physical puzzle. 
So I've just done a soon on the um, on the R base. Now it's time for an RY, an anti soon on R. Instead of doing all these manually, I'll go down to my um, macro that I prepared. Anti soon. Um, Ry prime. I Y prime. Now this is one of those non-canonical twists, and I'll have to document that elsewhere. It has nine. Um, uh, the macro in MC4D for this one twist on um, on the physical puzzle has nine moves in MC4D. So I'm doing an I Y prime. Then R Y. Soon, Ry2, anti soon, Ry, and Iy. And we've solved our uh, double twist. I'm really jazzed at being able to um, fully emulate um, all of my Royal Zero moves. Um, on a set of macros. So I've really um, proven beyond a doubt that um, that this uh, this move set is um, you know is solving the identical puzzle and that it can be followed followed along with a single macro per um, per motion. That's pretty satisfying. Some people might like to restrict themselves further. To um, to not use uh, any moves, uh, any macro, long macros on MC4D, um, but instead just use a single gyro. But I'm uh, I'm liking this setup, um, where um, some things that you would do on MC4D are a bit longer um, on the physical puzzle, and some things that you do on the physical puzzle are a bit longer on MC4D. It sort of seems fair to me. Anyhow, good stuff. I'm really pleased.